Hello, I'm Kofi Dodzi. I'm 18 years old and I'm a part of Mass Leap along with Michelle. We're a youth organization that focuses around spoken word poetry and social justice. And the first poem I'm going to do for you is Police Brutality from the Point of View of, of a Baton. I orchestrate brutality, but I never wanted to compose this symphony. We batons fell into the role masterfully, though, as the blue Beethovens adorned in badges used us to keep the beat on black notes. It's just that the syncopation of their screams is always the hardest to hear. As it ends and repeats, voices crescendo in agony as we direct the masterpiece. We helped create a piece once. We titled him Rodney. Reduced his life to eight minutes of mutilation, but that song got old real quick. So we found new symphony halls wherever the bars kept black notes in place. See, it's hard to be a conductor for this symphony. Especially when they twirl you like color guard on parade, eager and willing to control the next tune. See, we batons, the color of midnight, turn black bodies into battered heaps. Now ain't that black on black crime? Are we just an officer's token black friend? Would he put us down the minute we look threatening too? See, we do our best to quell the rhythm of rebellion. We put rests on the voices of colored women so we can play the same tired tune over and over again. They never seem to get a solo. Only seen as a supplement to a black man's medley, the audience doesn't seem to like this piece anymore. America don't seem to like peace anymore. See, black folk never wanted to be in admittance hell. We never even bought tickets, but we've been instrumental in his creation. Unplugged from society, all we wanted to do was make music. We never expected the dissonance of black instruments to create the best melody, yet keeping time on torture was something of a classical arrangement for us. Like leaving bodies to hang in the breeze like high notes. Like massacre is musical. So not for nothing we have masterminded the murder of a people have turned maiming into an artificial art form. We couldn't have done it on our own because he who holds my hand or wishes I were a whip misses the sound of its crack and decided to make music instead. But who am I to judge when I am cut from the same wood that decorates that whip's handle? We are tired of making songs out of suffering, of turning the altercations between my maestro and black folk into twisted duets. Remove me from my master's hand before the body count rises like chord progression. We pray this piece sees a finale soon, but for now, the show must go on. America always wants an encore. And then...